Alright guys and welcome back to episode 8 of my trading to 250k series and before I go into the video one thing I just want to let you know is this voice that I'm doing now is actually uh, not in sync with the video uh, so the clips that you're seeing on screen and that is because when I originally recorded the voice um, like the audio levels just went absolutely crazy and there was so much interference in the background you could literally not hear me speaking so uh, yeah I do apologise if I am just talking about things which actually aren't even appearing on the screen yet. But nevertheless, um, the first player that I've actually bought in this episode is a player that we've never had before, and that is Carlos Puyol. And I actually got six of these Puyols, and every single one of them I paid 5k for. And what I'm looking to do with the Carlos Puyols is put them up for around um, 6.5k starting price and a 7k buy it now. And hopefully we'll be able to make at least 2k profit on every Puyol. Um, there are six of them, so that'll be a 12k profit. As you can see here as well... Um, there is actually only one of them which doesn't have a 4 at the back formation card on them and that is a 3-5-2 formation Puyol and he should be pretty easy to sell anyway because 3-5-2 is a popular formation on um, FIFA 13. So going into the next player it is actually a Xabi Alonso and this guy is just quality on this game as you can see some absolutely amazing stats 88 passing and 81 defending and um, this guy is in a 4-4-2 formation and I paid 8k for him and because he's in the 4-4-2 formation, I'm hoping to get around 10k out of him. And then uh, therefore making another 2k profit on another one of the players. And hopefully he should sell pretty quickly, uh, basically because he's in the formation of 4-4-2. And then the last player that I've actually got is a Sergio Busquets. And as you can see, this one's in the centre mid um, position. I'm not sure if that's actually his original position on his inform card. But uh, nevertheless, I actually paid 28.5k for him. And that's just absolutely crazy. Seeing though every other one I was looking for was going for around 35 to 40k. So uh, yeah, I got a really really good bargain on uh, this Sergio Busquets and he's in a 4-4-1 formation. And hopefully I'll be looking to sell him for around 35 to 40k and making myself a pretty nice profit on uh, the informed Sergio Busquets. Alright guys, so as you can see I am uh, actually in the trade pile now and that is because all my players have actually sold. And um, one thing you might no notice, which is different to uh, before, is all the Puyols, well, all of them apart from one, have actually t changed formation. And I think someone's like gone and bought my Puyols to price fix them because they've all gone to a uh, three four three formations. But nevertheless, all the Puyols did sell, and then um, all of them sold for seven k, except for this one here, which went for six and a half k, which was a uh, the like starting price. And as you can see here, that one, that one, um, this one. And also that one, all sold for 7k each. So um, that is a 2k profit on all the Puyols apart from one, which I got a 1.5k profit on, which still isn't bad seeing though the Puyols really did sell quickly, so it's um, a very easy profit for me. And then going on to the Jabby Alonso, this guy was actually pretty hard to sell. Originally I wanted around 11k for him, then I brought it down to 10k, and then when I put him up for 9.5k, he sold pretty much instantly. So, um... I suppose it's not a massive profit margin, but you can sell him easily for a 1.5k profit if that's what you want. Um, I know it's not a great profit, but at the end of the day, it is still profit. And finally, going into the last player, which is the Sergio Busquets. Um, originally, I was hoping to get a bit more for him, but um, since I only paid 28.5k for him, 36.5k is still a quality profit. That's like 8k, I think. Yeah, 8k profit. So, um... I was hoping to get more like a 10k profit, but still 8k profit is really good, especially on one player. And uh, guys, if you are wondering how much money I've actually earned this episode, in the description um, there will be like a total of how much I've earned in this episode, and then a total of how much I've earned throughout the series so far. And um, one thing I do know is from uh, this episode we have hit the 100k profit mark, and that is because... In the last episode, we were on 99, 950, something stupid like that. So we've definitely hit a uh, 100k now. And um, if you have enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And also check out my other videos on my channel.